<laughs> Gail! Gail, look at you! Let's get those pets in, buddy. I totally forgot how Gail is just so excitable and friendly and rolling around for belly rubs all the time. Hi, girl! Wow! Oh, and Barkley! Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Look at you. He's just right at our feet. Even Chomps, who's been with us for ages, isn't quite as close. You really are a loyal dog, aren't you, Barkley? Ready for pets, Barkley? <laughs> and he was ready for some belly rubs, too. Hi, buddy! All right, and there is Stilton the Elder watching over the landscape and watching over us. And here we are. All right, guys, welcome back to Red Lantern, where we are now running with our new team of dogs, a brand new mix of our nine dogs all together. Chomper, of course, always being with us. Then we have got our Elder Stilton, who has a lot of wisdom and experience out here in the Alaskan wilds that hopefully we'll be able to use to keep track of things while we go ahead and try to get the stories from Slayer and from Gale, two of our most mysterious sled dogs. Gale is definitely not the shyest. In fact, I feel really badly. You guys are so right. I should have brought Finn with us too, but maybe having three really shy, questionable sled dogs with us would have been too much, especially because mm, I like having Berkeley here. He is a little bit shy. I feel like we need to build his confidence up again because he feels like he needs to sacrifice himself like some sort of some sort of heroic paladin, huh, Barkley? In order to be able to take care of things on the trail. And I want him to know that he can rely on the whole team. And to do that, I feel like having a couple of the Shire dogs realize that we need to rely on them. Maybe it'll help. And if we had Finn with us, I think it would be almost too much of all of the nervous dogs between Slayer, Gale, and Finn. But we're gonna manage. We're gonna find out what to do. All right. So, let's go ahead and review. Oh, that's right, we don't have our fire starter, so we're going to need to use birch, and I only have one little patch of birch that we have with us. And we also don't have any of our other awesome things like my axe, we don't have more bullets, we don't have the trap, we also do not have the dog booties, or the gun cleaner, or the fishing rod, or uh, any of the other amazing useful tools that we're just gonna have to pretend for roleplay purposes. We once again lost when maybe Gail got overexcited seeing some sort of bunny hopping across the trail and left buried in the snow behind us. But that's okay. It's just gonna be a little, a little day trip today, guys, and then we'll pretend we end back up at the cabin where everybody can rest. However, we do have a big mission to rescue Iggy in case you guys have forgotten. We are going to try to heal Iggy and we cannot run any dog teams that have Iggy in it until we manage to get to the cabin with a med pack. So that is a big deal. This shy little team is going to need to help Iggy heal because we're going to say we ran back to town to get some medicine for Iggy and now we need to get back to the cabin to take it to her so she could heal from rescuing us from a musk ox last time. And until we do that, then we are not going to be able to run with her. I mean, she got hurt. It was the first time we ever ended up at the cabin with a dog wounded who we hadn't been able to heal. And that just doesn't sit right with me. But all right, you know what? Let's make fire the most of the nice. fire. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. And then let's make the most of the I'm food. ready to cook some food. I'm gonna have a snack. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and give the puppers a snack. All right, you guys ready? Food time. Chow down, pups. We don't have a lot of food yet. There you go, chomps. So we're gonna need to do a little bit of hunting on the land. Get back on the trail. Let's do this. Let's be safe out there. And hopefully we'll be able to find something useful to use. All right, everybody good? Come on, Slayer. And let's head off. I might actually let the dogs decide where we go now too, because seeing what Gale and potentially what Slayer would pick, or even Stilton would pick, that would be really useful. Stilton's wisdom might get us a little bit further than I think we can run at the moment, too. Oh, All right. All right, it's up to you guys. Which one of you pups are going to decide our fate and take us a little bit further? All right, good boy, Chomper. We'll go ahead and follow where he's leading us, into the forest. Also, I wonder if we actually need to keep running to the point that we start getting... Oh, what's this? Oh, did you see that? A bald eagle! Uh, no, oh, Chomper, really cool. I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna leave the bald eagle alone for now. 
chase it. I mean, yep, you know let's what? see where it's going. As much You're as I want to leave than I expected, I heard it's illegal to shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Huh. Yeah, not shooting it. Let's go ahead and wait, though. So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? It might lead us to a little bit of food. Hey! A little bit of food! Okay, then. There we go. At least that's something for the journal. It means we'll bring back more food on the next run, I think. Chomper, do your thing! I probably shouldn't give in to your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. But we're gonna have so much future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. Yes! Thanks, Eagle! Chomper, I hope you learn how to make rabbit rope lines. We're running low on the store-bought kind. <laughs> Let's go, Chomper. Okay, that was new. See, it's always worth it to go ahead and investigate things, because you might end up with something new that we've not heard or explored before. All right, come on, pups. We might need to keep running even when we're really tired because I think that's where Gale gives us extra energy. So we have to experiment with a whole bunch of things. Being hungry, being tired. Oh, hey, what is this? I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. Um. Let's go ahead. What happens if I just don't decide? Will the dogs keep going on? On way. Yeah, we'll just keep going. We just had one, like, vision with a bald eagle. Something about a lot of feathers hmm. today, I guess. Let's go. All right, pups, you guys decide. But the different dogs events could happen if you're in different conditions. So we might want to be really, really exhausted sometimes because I think that actually brings out a lot of what Gale can do. And also, Gale and porcupines do not mix. But somehow it seems to be, like, that's when she learns the most of her life lessons. Oh, right. Chomper, no! A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. And, all right, fine, let's check it out. He wants to chase. See, he's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. But if Chomper, we give you, in... on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? <laughs> all right, he does look tasty, Chomper. Go for it. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, no. What? Chomper? You downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. All right, so now he's found his prey drive. You know, Chomp, you can't just follow me. No, 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 he could follow I me there. We give him permission. Let's go. All right. Hey, Slayer, Stilton. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, nope, we're going to keep going a little bit longer. I mean, we don't have any ability to eat or start a fire, so it's not like there's anything we can do. The pups have been eating on the run at the moment. Great for them, not so great for us. Oh, is, is that, that a, a weasel? There? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Very cute. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it at the moment, though. We really... Hi, buddy! We need to work on finding some food or, you know, something to start a fire. Oh, all right, guys, I'll let you go ahead and decide this. Come on, pups. Hmm. We are getting a little bit further than I expected. Hey, Slayer! All right, Slayer has gone ahead and picked where we're going. Hey, some birch! Hey, those look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Good job, girl. Are you both birch? I did not learn the proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margo told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark. Then and probably the others this one. are supposed to be aspen. Uh, aspen trees are so beautiful. They'll burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. That is so cool. At least we're getting a lot of experience so that maybe we can say we're gathering Dear like. God. <laughs> You're supposed to be like paper. Come here. There we go. Okay, so that works up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna freeze. All right. Now, if only we had some food. Oh no, it's that worked up way too much now. of an appetite. Oh dang it. Let's go, Chopper. All right, it looks like that's gonna be about as far as we can get this time, but we can at least pretend for the roleplay purposes that all of the little journal information we're collecting is actually going to go ahead and help us out with being able to I'm feeling a little weak, pups. Here we go. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. 
Keep on running, pups. And down we go. We starved. We're gonna just say that that gave us some experience to get money so that we could go back into town. Oh, we've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. And we get more food. Ahead. Are we ready for this? I know. What calm down, calm down. All right, there we go. So now we've got our discoveries that we're starting to find. Here we go. I never met a tree I didn't like. Fell small, felt small out on the plains. Are there really a million lakes here? One day, guys, we'll go to Alaska together. It's going to be amazing. We identified a birch tree. We found the eagle, a fact about eagles. We found a fact about the squirrels. We haven't talked to the squirrel in a very long time. We definitely should do that. All right, we're bringing more bullets. Are we bringing more food? We're bringing three food. And that looks like it's going to be it for now. All right, not the fastest so run, or not the like best run. But let's go ahead and get going. Maybe this time we'll put a little bit of an emphasis on hunting. All right, come on, pups. Did you say this cat? Come on, guys. I know you guys are a little tired, uh, but we have got the medicine that we have to take back to Iggy. So come on, mush, mush on. And we'll set a goal of trying to become very tired sooner than later, so that hopefully we'll actually be able to work with our wonderful Gale. Let's go. Uh, also, I can't tell how tired or how hungry the dogs might get right now. Huh. This might be very tricky. Hey, Stilton has a plan! Oh, there we go, there we go, now I see it. Alright, where are we going, boy? I guess it wouldn't be very hard to find a Christmas tree around here, right? <gasps> yes, caribou! Wait, is that a caribou? Alright, let's do our best. We've got medicine to bring back to Iggy after all. And pull the trigger. Alright, wait for it. Not yet. I wonder what kind of birds are around here right now. Other than, you know, ptarmigan. And it's still fine. Great. Okay. We'll hit this caribou. Come on. We'll kill this caribou. If we miss here, we might have to wait and do the finish what we started event. I do not like leaving a wounded caribou, though. If we have to go ahead and... There yes! we go. We did it! Food is ours! <laughs> We're pretty good at this. We're living our best life out in the Alaskan hey, wilderness, guys. We've got some more two bullets left, team. All right, let's do let's this. Get back out there. What do you guys think we're gonna find next? Maybe a moose. I mean, honestly, our team from last time was just fantastic. Running with Iggy and everybody else, we managed to get a ton of moose. I was really impressed. All right, Slayer, we might run into those elk, but we're gonna work on you, girl. Oh, look, hey. Creepy abandoned cabin! My favorite! Okay, so there's just a creepy abandoned cabin sitting over there. Um let's go ahead. Let's see. I don't think near us. Do we check it out? Here we go. I can handle whatever's in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's gonna be a squirrel again? I mean it's missing half its walls. Oh yes, <gasps> a med pack. The extra med bag! I'd say I probably won't need this, but yeah, I probably will. Oh man, if only we could get to Iggy now. Hey pups. Found a med pack. Let's get back out there. I don't think I've ever found a med pack in a cabin before. Oh, that's a really good sign. Now we actually have a med pack we could take to Iggy. Uh, we're gonna have to see if we're able to make it all the way there though. And with as many tools as we don't Let's have, go. that's going to be really tricky. All right. Come on, pups. I'll let you guys decide on the next direction we'll go. And then we'll have to see how things work out, friends. But what do you guys think we should do to bring out... Good job, Chomper. To bring out the best in all of our dogs. To really make it so that Gail will be able to show off her skills. To try to find the elk, which seem to be mostly in the I south for Chomper. Adult, what do you think? Or goes? for Slayer. Let's talk about this bunny. What's going on here? Hey, little bunny. Hi, little guy. Um. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to. 
Oh, he didn't get it. All right, I really thought he'd get it this time. All right, let's go. Uh, that's okay. The pups do okay? I think we're done here. Let's go. All right. This is a little tricky. I really wish we could take this extra med pack to Iggy. And until we make it to the that's end missed. with the med pack, we're not going to be able to heal Iggy. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. I love chumps. All right. So there we go, guys. I'm really curious, though, because I think we're going to need to be a little bit more focused. I might actually start directing the dogs myself soon on which direction to go. But Slayer, I think if we go to the south, we might really be able to work on her elk special event and maybe find more food. And then for Gail, I think we need to be really tired and her stuff will start coming out. But for Barkley, I wonder if it's running into some of the dangers that are out here in the forest that will really make him feel like we can rely on him and he could really protect us. And for Stilton, I think it's just getting to the cabin that makes it so that Stilton will actually go ahead and will guide you there or maybe it's just like get his little drawing in the journal or maybe it's just letting him have a plan and constantly choose a few times like what direction we go in we're gonna have to play around with it and see our goal medicine for Iggy, and really understanding the hearts of our dogs for now though lunchtime so all right guys if you could do please leave a like and let me know which of our sled dog stories you would like us to focus on first this time and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye